This is Wild Dish, I'm Gizzy and I'm here in Israel. So I'm the luckiest girl in the world. We're here in Tel Aviv filming World Dish with the dishy. I'm dishy? You're dishy. <laughs> Did you have the, do you have the word dishy? No, I, but I like it. I think it's a good one, right? It's a compliment. Yeah, that's a total compliment. But yeah. the dishy Michal Anski, who is a mega star. So anyway, we're going to be cooking uh, shawarma salad, which is like, I heard in you're really into um, street food. Yeah. In Israel, shawarma and falafel are the most common things. You walk on the street, you see in hummus maybe. Mm -hmm. If you've not had shawarma, the best way to describe it is it's sort of like a, a kebab, I suppose, but it's, yeah. it's built onto, I mean, how would you describe it? I'm, Imagine I... a big sword and you put layers of chicken or turkey or lamb on it, spice it up and just let it roll. And there's a lot of fat uh, involved, but I took the fat away. I'm using chicken. Okay, so. Chicken breast, mm -hmm. olive oil, and then spices. You can buy like a mixed a pack yeah. of, of spices, but I'm I like to control the spices myself. Yeah. So I have uh, sweet paprika and spicy paprika and a little bit of pepper. You can use as much as you want. I don't know. Just play with it. Cumin. Putting a little bit. And turmeric. So this is beautiful yeah, already, I was say, right? The colors. Salt. We're mixing it together and you're just letting it rest and take all the good flavors that will marinate inside. If you had all the time in the world, how long would you like that to marinate for? for all the time in the world, I would leave it for half a day or yeah. even a night. Half an hour will be all right as well, even 15 minutes if you're really in a hurry. But just let it rest. Put it in the fridge, you know we're doing chicken here. We're just leaving it to rest here. We'll, we'll let it warm. And we, meanwhile, we're gonna make uh, this, this salad. This salad. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a rice salad. So you can use whole rice uh, if you want. And then we just put herbs inside. We only have parsley here. Yeah. But at home, use mint, use dill, yeah. uh, coriander, whatever you like. I love herb salads. Me actually. too, me too. I, I am obsessed with it. And, and every time I'm using herbs, I only use the flowers. I never chop parsley with a knife because it becomes black and soggy and just, and it's fun like this. And then we have red onions mm -hmm. and I just uh, left them with the juice of a lemon. I don't want them round, I'm just make them like spaghetti, <laughs> long. Mm, it really like, makes a difference. Like noodles. For our salad, we also need red chilies. So How shall I do these? Just slice them. Very thin, yeah? Yeah, very thin. This is sort of essentially, you're taking a classic street food from Tel Aviv and making it into a sort of everyday, lighter dinner if you're being a bit more self-conscious and yeah. trying to be a bit healthier. Is that enough chili or? Yeah. Oh my God. Loads. <laughs> You handed me three! What do you want me to say? I, didn't I know. just did as I was told. I didn't know you were going to do I take a few out? <laughs> They're like, I'm really hardcore, Chili. <laughs> okay, so leave it, leave it. No, no, I'm, no. I'm going with the flow. Even for me, this is too much. So you might think we're cooking with a lot of oil here, but actually, if the oil becomes very hot, everything that touches it get an immediate burn, and then the oil doesn't go inside, so it's not very oily. And I think it's, it's important not to be afraid of fats and oils. I, I, think, I think for me, it's, you know, fat is flavor. Um, we need fat to break down other Every, fats. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, and if we need omega oils. And if you want to be brainy and have great skin and great hair, it's imperative that you have these good fats. So uh, I'm just playing around dressing <laughs> uh, Michael's salad, having a... I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. I'm just You're going, doing going to town. You're an amazing job. <laughs> Let's treat this um, dish mm -hmm. as a, like to put something in the middle and then everyone will able to eat with That's it. That's how I love to eat yeah. as well. Just put it, you know, aluminium or, or paper or whatever or, or nothing, just on, on, on the, the table. table. Just put the rice. I'm so in love with this woman. She is like <laughs> me. It's, it's actually spooky. 
They don't have to be equal. Just chop it. It's really also good uh, to use to leave the skin on. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then it becomes crispy. Crispy. And then we don't need the fat. Yeah. Am I piling this onto here? Or? Yeah, and just pile it up. Four. I like that it feels really rustic. I'm, it feels very honest. Yeah. You, no, you used the perfect word, honest. Honest mm. food. It's something that if you would eat separately, it, you would like it. it. If you would be alone, you would like it. If yeah. you serve it to your family, you would like it. You'd be proud of yeah. it. Yeah, but dinner party, you'd be happy. It's exactly. Sort of... What I would do is even to, to put the hini underneath. Oh, wow, yeah. And then the rice or put the hini on it. Or if you're not eating oh, I love kosher. the idea of it being on the bottom and sort of almost like yeah, like scooping it up. Scooping it, it up or, or yogurt or whatever yeah. you like with your shawarma. And I think it's balanced and it's... Oh, sort it's of like so multi-dimensional, lots of different layers yeah. of flavor, you know. Different layers of flavor, different layers of temperatures, different layers of textures. For me, it's the perfect deal. Four. <laughs> <laughs> that translates, right? <laughs> okay. This really is my kind of food. What's not to love? It's fast, it's full of flavor. Um, it's got all, like you said, the different textures, the heat. Really aromatic, it's got a bit of spice. It's ticking every single box. Oh, and, the, and the onions are amazing. Yeah. And you know what? It's the kind of food that lifts you up, yeah. makes you, exactly. Fire in the furnace. Yeah. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> we really want you to try this recipe. And if you do, please let us know how you get on. Um, if you haven't already, why have you not subscribed? Subscribe now. Um, and if you want to find out any more from you, where do we go? Just contact you. Now just give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be around. <laughs>